Thank you so much for joining this webinar where we're going to be talking about uh, Merch Dominator Premium Plan launch. And also we'll do a bit of a product demo and um, we'll finish off with, um, well, obviously we're going to give you a fantastic offer that hopefully you will not refuse because, um, yeah, the price is going to be amazing. The discount code is going to be amazing. And um, hopefully if you like what you see and, and um, you feel it's the right thing for you, then, then uh, go for it. Otherwise, any questions, happy to help uh, in the end. Um, we'll do a, um, you know, segment uh, specific just to questions and answers and hopefully give you that um, you know that, that attention that you need and um, and and whatever you need um, I'm, I'm here for you right so uh, first things first making sure that um, uh, everybody can hear me all good um, we can see that we've got who do we have we've got Ahmed uh, Louise from Spain uh, Rishika from India uh, Gary Walla, what's up, buddy? You're from Oklahoma, Brittany, uh, Christina, Oklahoma. Uh, lots of people from the States. Fantastic. Great to hear. Mune, yeah, I'm good, brother. Um, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Bit from Portland, USA. Fantastic. Sovo, uh, you didn't put where you're from, but um, hopefully you can put it down there. Brilliant. Uh, Momo, um, hello. If you can put where you're from, that would be great. Uh, Sada, what's going on? Sada from Morocco. Um, Zuhay from Morocco. Tahiyati, brother. Appreciate that. Mehdi from Morocco. Um, Lithuania. Tadas, hey, hey man, hey man, how you doing? Uh, Lynn O'Connor from the US. Uh, Ilyas from Morocco. Ahmed from France. Munir from Morocco. Um, I can go through all the names now because there's only um, 45 people, but we had. Uh, over 300 people in the other webinar. I literally could not go through the, all the names. So, yeah. Um, Louise, thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you. Um, right. Brittany, Brittany, what's up? Um, Zach, yeah. All good, all good. Brilliant. All right. Let's get started, guys. Hopefully, it's worth the wait. So, introduction, guys. I'll give you a bit of introduction. But before that, if you guys can tell me, if you know who I am, if you've seen my videos on YouTube click on one or uh, enter one. If you don't know who I am, this is the first time you, you see me online, um, please enter two. That would be great. Just so I can see how in-depth I can go through the, the introduction, but I don't want to make it too in-depth, if I'm honest. Right, okay. So kind of half-half. More more so towards the one. Okay. Um, so there's about 70%, 80% that know me, 2%. Okay. Um, so for people that don't know who I am, my name is Adnan. Um, I go by the name Mr. Adi for my English channel. And for my Arabic channel, I go by the name Mr. Adnan. Um, I've been in print on demand since 20, uh, end of 2017, early 2018. Started on Merch by Amazon. Absolutely smashed it. And um, yeah, decided I want to move to content creation and share you know, what I, what I know about the, the business. And if you guys go back to my English channel, Mr. Mr. Addy, you'll see that I've started sharing stuff since 20, um, kind of 2019 and literally shared my screen and yeah, great numbers. A lot of people were inspired by those numbers and stuff like that. Um, and, um, yeah, just decided to go from there. Then, um, moved into, you know, uh, helping people with their Merch by Amazon business, doing courses and tutorials online and stuff like that. We've got various different services uh, tied up with that. So that's like another business um, just through, um, you know, coaching and teaching people and stuff like that. Now we move to SaaS um, software as a business. And my first venture with SaaS is literally Merch Dominator. And I wanted to basically provide the best possible software um, in the industry based on my own knowledge, based on, you know, what I see uh, is being done in other softwares. And I wanted to improve every part of it. And um, th that is the vision, basically. And I think we've achieved a lot of it. And obviously, there's a lot of work still, because there's a lot of things that we need to, um, to add into that. So really, the inspiration came from the fact that I thought that there's a lot of value to be added into the community and provide a hopefully a better tool that people can work with using the strategies that I work with, using what I know works well, using the types of, um, 
you know, like efficiency that I want to work with. I wanted to inject it into the software and hopefully people that have used it can can agree with me on that. Um, um, we wanted to give a lot of time um, for people to test out the software. So we gave three months for free and I, lo I know a lot of softwares have only given like a month, some didn't, but I wanted to give it so much time to make sure that we deliver a full product with so much value. So um, uh, have you guys used Mesh Dominator before? Is it the first time that you come across it? If you can give me a yes or a no. If you have used Mesh Dominator, type yes. If you haven't, type no. That'll be great. Okay, great. Fantastic. All right, fantastic. Brilliant. First time learning it now. Okay, brilliant, mate. All right, well, I'm going to go through a haul. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go through the entire software and I'll do a demo so you can see how it works, right? And then we can we can take things step by step and go through the offer and all of that. Sounds good? Yeah, it said <laughs> paid done. <laughs> Dude, uh, you know, you, you could have waited for the for the um, for the webinar to finish, but um you couldn't wait. No worries, no worries. All right, cool. So, what is the problem? I want to ask you guys, um you know, as SaaS developers or whatever you want to call us, we want to find the problem that people are suffering from so that we can answer it with a solution that hopefully can make their life better. So if I was to ask you, what is the problem that you have with print on demand? So if you guys can... Uh, Jonathan, I really don't want to um, compare with other s softwares directly, but hopefully through my presentation... <laughs> you'll be able to see the, the vast difference. And I, I really don't want to diss any other platform because, you know, I'm sure they all work hard in their own right, in their own way. I just want to focus on my own platform and hopefully you guys can, you know, you guys can make that difference or, or that distinction by yourselves, yeah? Um, yeah, so... Right, so finding good niches is a challenge. Keywords, listing, tracking, trademarks is a challenge. Yeah, from uh, Svajunas. Hopefully I uh, spelled that right. Sales, okay. T titles, bullet points, descriptions, etc. Yeah. Yes, we are recording this session, by the way. SEO, all of that. Okay, great. So hopefully, Merch Dominator came with the solution to all of these things. So um, if you're suffering from the fact that you cannot get sales, you can find the latest trendy designs that will help you get sales. And I've proved that through many, many videos where I start a brand new Merch by Amazon account and I bring sales just through finding niches that are really, really selling well right now. And hopefully through a lot of training that we're going to be doing, either through webinars like this, which will be recorded and also will be put on <coughs> the Merch Dominator platform for paid users only, they'll be able to, you guys will be able to um, you know, check out what we talk about and hopefully come to the webinars as well and get training. That way, you don't just get the software, but you also get the knowledge. The knowledge is, is key. It's power. It's it's what allows you to um, know how to navigate through things and, and solve problems and make, um, uh, get the results that, that you desire. Um, so that's the sales part. You have the SEO. You've got keywords, uh, analysis. You've got loads and loads of things that you can use for key, for SEO. Uh, you've got the issue of trademark and copyright, right? You don't need to go anywhere else. It's all included. We You don't have to just type the keyword that you think might be trademarks. You actually can scan the entire listing for trademarks, right? And it will tell you whether it's good to go or not. And even for keywords that Amazon doesn't allow, for example, gift or neon or, you know, stuff like that. You'll be able to see them highlighted and not any make any mistakes, right? What else? What other uh, issues? Um, Brittany Bashaw, uh, she said that it has been so helpful in research. Yeah, hopefully. And hopefully some of the things that I'm going to highlight to you today, guys, you'll find really, uh, really powerful. Um, right. So, um, yes, tracking trademarks. Yes, that's, uh, that is that is um, uh, possible uh, with the... Um, uh, with the um, uh, trademark watch list feature, which I'm going to talk to you about, all right? So just wanted to briefly touch upon the issues that a lot of people are facing. Um, and one other thing as well is 
finding good niches without spending time. And we know that um, time is money, right? You don't want to go through the entire Merch by Amazon um, you know, database going page by, by page. Sorry, not Merch by Amazon database. The um, Amazon.com or whatever Amazon website they're using, .fr, whatever, and watch watch them page by page and use an extension that shows you the BSR and all of that. You will miss some things and you might not go to page 10 or page 20 or page 30 or 100 to find that niche that is actually just picking up, right? We scan the entire data, the, the entire pages that Amazon shows us and we give it to you right there. And hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Um, and that's just one of the many things. Now, guys, how about we go through a platform demo and we go through things. And then if you have any questions, you'll ask me in the end. And um, after each segment, so when I'm done with like a feature, I'll ask you, what do you think? Do you have any questions? And then I'll ask, uh, answer you there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is that good for you? Does that work? Yeah. All right. Cool. So I'm going to share my screen and then we're going to have a look at um, firstly how to register to Merch Dominator just so I can show you the so type Merch Dominator for people who by the way is, by the way we've got some decent reviews there just from people that have been using it um, so you just click on here, right? And it will direct you to this page. Then you can either sign up or log in. Um, at the moment, there's this discount code, which we're going to discuss in a bit. So uh, we already launched it for the Arab speakers. But yeah, we'll discuss everything in detail. Just go through the, the um, uh, kind of um, the, the steps and, and, and register that way. Right. So next, we're going to go for... We're going to go inside the platform, just log in. I'm going to log in with this uh, email right here. The first thing you see is if you've been using it as a free user, you'll be able to click on subscribe now and go and register. Guys, don't register yet because I'm going to go through the coupon codes and all of that so that you know what the best discounts possible is and all of that, right? So you don't make a mistake and end up uh, buying it with the full price. Um, so the first thing uh, that you can see is the dashboard. Over here at the moment, we're showing you the roadmap, but later on, we're going to add a few bits and pieces that will help you, you know, to see performance, that kind of thing, like maybe latest niches, whatever, whatever. We'll add it to the pla to the um, dashboard area. But at the moment, we're showing the roadmap. Guys, can you imagine like 1,349 people are wanting the affiliate marketing feature, which is coming this month. Uh, people that are, uh, subscribe to Merch Dominator will be able to promote Merch Dominator and get passive income from it literally just by sharing a link um, and what an amazing ROI you know what I mean if you get like two or three conversions a month that pays for the for the price pretty much but anyway um, yeah loads of things that, that are coming we've got AI coming loads of different things we have um, uh, the, the uh, feature votes coming over here as you can see, you'll be able to vote on the features that you want to be included in Merch Dominator. And you can see the change log over here, as you can see. All right. Now, if you want to add anything, you just submit feedback and, um, you know, we can we can look into it and uh, add it potentially as a feature vote. All right. Next, we have tutorials. Loads of support for this platform. So you've got the welcome area in Arabic and English, right? Over here, you can go through different languages. We're going to add support for German and Thai, maybe. Uh, research, loads of different tutorials. Um, so you can see how the platform works and they will be updated constantly. Yeah, trademarks, everything you need. And we're going to be putting all the live streams here, right? So this webinar will, will be put here eventually as you guys can see, and we're going to be doing affiliate training as well over here. So if you want to learn how to promote the platform and make money just from promoting the platform, then that would be the place to have a look um, at those tutorials. Over here, we've got support. So you can join our Discord community. Let me show you the Discord. 
You can see my screen, right? Hopefully I'm not, yeah, I'm presenting. Um, so we have two sides. We've got the Arabic side and we have the English side over here. So once you come in, you'll be able to see the language that you want to um, uh, work with, right? So just choose English uh, if that's what you want to do or Arabic if you're an Arab speaker as well. Okay. Um, there's loads of engagements, guys. As you can see, we've got 12,000 plus members. Let me show you live. This is just in the last three months. It's it's ridiculous. It's literally blowing up, guys. Um, there's our members. Yeah, 12,676. So pretty decent. Like, And the engagement is, is pretty good as well. Like, um, you know, people are putting their designs. People are commenting on them. Um, you know, people are asking questions. There's loads of engagements, as you guys can see. Uh, and in the English side as well. So there's questions about KDP, questions about, you know, general chat, whatever you want is here available in two languages. Right, next. Uh, uh, yes, thank you, Zach, for sending the, the link of joining the Discord. That's perfect. Appreciate that, mate. Zach is one of our moderators in uh, Merch Dominator in the Discord. So that's, thanks for that, mate. Um, right, next, we have... Email. So you can email us, you can report a bug or if you want to add a feature request, whatever. And over here we've got uh, FAQs. So questions that are most frequently asked, you can find answers to them. And in case you don't find your answer, you can just email us or come to Discord. Either way, there'll be a way for us to help you. We're pretty hands-on. We also have a uh, live chat, by the way, guys. So that's uh, that's also available. I think if I go to a new, um, if I go to a new one, it will come over here after this. So when you click on got it, you'll find it right here. There's our live chat, right? So you can chat with us. At the moment, we're offline, but um, we, we're going to put it online. I don't think there's any other software in the in this niche of Merch by Amazon Print on Demand softwares that are doing live chat. So that's a pretty handy feature. So you get your support real quick. So we come to research. So far, let me just ask you this. Uh, guys, any questions so far? Any questions? And then we'll move to the next segment. Then we'll start looking at some heavy stuff. All good so far. Okay, great. A few people are typing, just want to see what they say. And then we'll move. Yes, it does uh, support marketplaces for KDP, correct. I'm going to go through all of that now. All right, so uh, Hussein, how to register. I'm going to talk about that in a bit. So if you just bear with me, I'm going to do this demo of, um, uh, of, of how it works. And then I'll show you how to register. Actually, let me, let me go through... Yeah, I'll do it later. I don't want to confuse things. So yeah, if you don't mind, I'll do it in a bit. Uh, right, so bestsellers. You've got your traditional dashboard where you can see uh, loads of filters, lo loads of different things. So you can put your keyword here and then it will find uh, whatever uh, design that, that, is, that is linked to that keyword. But don't put very, very long keywords so that uh, you can get the, the best results possible. All right, because we might not have that whole massive screen string of keywords in our database in one design only. And I'm sure that if you do that with Amazon as well, you will not get the correct results, yeah? Especially that we only show designs that have sold. We don't, you know, put junk in our database. We don't put designs that have just been uploaded and never sold. You'll only get designs that have sold. And this is a massive plus, right? Uh, marketplaces, you've got all the marketplaces. Products, you've got T-shirt, hoodie, pop socket, uh, phone case, and KDP, right? Support for all of these products, guys. And these are the most kind of popular products. We didn't want to include the rest because they just, nobody wants to research for them and it's just going to be in, uh, a waste of time and waste of resources. Uh, sorting, we, have, we can sort by BSR, reviews, price, newest, oldest, and random. Um, you can click on here to find advanced options, etc. You can check for subcategories, etc. 
you can find by date published any design that has been published after a certain date or before a certain date or between a range of dates, yeah? So let's say you want to find designs that have been published uh, after the 28th of April, for example. Click on search. Uh, I'm in a, a user that is not subscribed. Let me just switch back to a subscribed user. Bear with me. Right, so I can see all the results now. Um, I'll just go to advanced options after the 28th, click on search. Now I can see all the designs that have been uploaded after the, the, the uh, that date, which is the 28th of, of uh, March, right? And this is the date uh, published. As you guys can see, all these are niches that have just been uploaded and are selling. Loads of options there, right? Loads of options. There you go. Loads of options. You've got so much data, guys, with Merch Dominator. Right. So now I'm going to go through the rest. You'll have a BSR range. So you, when you uh, toggle it on, you'll be able to change the range like so. Or you can type it in, for example, 300k BSR, and it will do it automatically. Uh, toggle it back off. You've got uh, average BSR in the last 30 days. You've got BSR range. Um, sorry, price range. You can change the price if you want. Rating, reviews. You can exclude keywords. For example, let's say we go back to reset. Let's say uh, we want to exclude the keyword Easter, right? If there's a keyword Easter in one of these titles, it won't show, right? So the, the the designs that have Easter in them will not show now, right? Same thing, you can exclude a brand, uh, hide brand, yes or no, hide deleted, yes or no, right? So far, any questions? Elias, what are the things that will be added? They are in our roadmap. You can just go back to our roadmap and check what's being added, what's going to be added in the near future. I already have lifetime access to Merch Informer, but I must admit I like Merch Dominator very much. What are the real differences between these two platforms? If you can point to the advantages of Merch Dominator over uh, other softwares, thank you. Uh, Honestly, I, I really want to make, try and be as neutral as possible without putting any other platform down because I'm not like that. But um, it's it's hard, you know. Some people can take it as you're trying to put them down, um, but I'll try and 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 explain in general, right? And then you can get the idea. Yeah, you've used other platforms. You can compare by yourself, and I'll I'll go through everything bit by bit, and then you make that decision. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I, I don't think it would be fair saying, oh, my software is better than all the rest and all of that without, you know, I don't think it's the right way of conducting business. Yeah? Okay. Um, right. So let me continue. Um, so one of the, uh, Lucian, um, to get back to your question, one of the things that I will highlight that for example, uh, a software like Merch Informer doesn't do is the ability to check the dates published or even the newest, for example. You will not be able to find the newest designs. These are the newest designs that have just been uploaded and have sold. We can quickly find a, a, a niche pretty easily, right? Pretty easily just through this. So this one right here, recycle, use, new, think, whatever. It was uploaded two days ago. We can go and search for it in example. Like so, we go and product search. I didn't go through product search, by the way. My bad, I'm going to go through it now. Uh, click on search, 281 results, and you'll be able to see uh, the BSR of them and then compare the results with the BSR. Does that make sense? Um, I'm going to uh, finish the um, B 
be best sellers and then come back to product search real quick. Um, there's also the ability to, here you'll be able to set any date uh, where you'd like to see designs that have been uploaded and also sold, right? Whereas with other softwares, especially the one that you mentioned, the Merch Informa, it doesn't do that. Um, I'm sure that uh, it doesn't do it because last time I checked, it doesn't do it. Um, does that answer your question, Lucian? Lucian, does that answer your question? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> right, so next. Uh, we have, we come down here and we have two types of views. You have the grid view and you have the list view. The list view will give you more uh, basically options to see and stuff like that. Um, but then the grid view, you'll have to go into it to be able to see it. But you'll be able to see it in a different way, right? Um, so it depends on how you like to, um, to check things. But either way, with both options, you'll be able to see the key metrics or the key elements that you want to look at. One of the key elements I like to look at is the dates published. That's, that's key. Because you want to see how uh, new the design is, whether you want to, um, whether it's a trending design, whether you want to start working on it, etc., etc. Yeah. Uh, but either way, uh, in the list view here, you'll be able to see add to favorite. You can download um, uh, the design. This is a controversial controversial feature. Uh, I must admit. Um, however, we have explained to people that you must not. You must not use it to copy other people's designs, right? Because uh, your your account will get terminated. This is th this is a fundamental thing. You should never ever copy designs pixel for pixel and upload them on your account, right? But then again, people if they want to do that, they will do it with in in their own way. We have uh, provided it because most of our audience wanted this feature so that they can put it on Illustrator and try and work out how the elements of those designs are constituted. That is literally the only thing. And this is why we implemented it. Um, we are happy to um, put, put it to a vote. If people, if basically most people want to um, take it down, then we can take it down, not a problem. We are a community-led um, uh, software company we would like to listen to our community that, that's why we wanted to put the roadmap live that's why we wanted to give people the ability to vote for few features etc etc um, so hopefully that will reassure people that we're trying to do the right thing all the time um, you can copy that design and put it into a text file if you want to you can uh, open this design on amazon you can go to more info let me do the more info thing on the other view so you can see everything that you've seen now, you can actually do it with uh, here. So you just hover over this uh, more info and you will open up these options and they do the same thing. Over here, you've got BSR in the last 30 days. This is the average. Um, you've got BSR now um, at the moment uh, as when it was last updated. You also have the uh, the price uh, and the published date. And... Um, you know how much the, the that that design has made in or makes in sales uh, in a month, right? So that's just an estimate. An estimate. And when we go to this one, for example, look how many sales it made. It's absolutely ridiculous. Ten thousand four hundred seventy-five sales from one design only. The amount of money this person is making is ridiculous. If only they they had their price up. I don't know why they haven't increased the price yet. They, they are ranking on the Easter niche, 955. They should have upped their price at least to like 1799 or 1999 because they, that's it. They've been chosen by Amazon. The Amazon algorithm has chosen this design to absolutely crush the competition this Easter. I don't know why they haven't increased the price, but hey ho. Um, so yeah, that gives you the estimated um, kind of uh, sales per month. Um, where do we get this uh, this um, uh, number? We get it through different metrics. So you've got the BSR, you've got the period of the year, the marketplace and different calculations and we come up with a number. 
Now that number is based on um, you know historical trends, based on historical numbers, based on machine learning and loads of different things. And we come up with that number. If you compare this number with uh, AMZ Scouts, you'll find that it's pretty similar. If you compare it with Jungle Scouts, with Helium 10, it will be pretty similar. All right. Uh, and ultimately, each software will do their own calculation and um, and uh, present it to you. Okay. Uh, right. Next bit is, let's do this one. We go into the more options. You'll be able to see all the uh, options of that design. So bullet points, the uh, price information, everything. And as you can see, it's been up updated today. We always update our designs every single day. And then we have a, a live uh, research feature as well, which I'm going to go through in a bit, um, which not many softwares have, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, marketplace, US, yeah, all the options. Uh, you can also check the trademark of that design, which I'm going to go through in a bit. And you have the price information, BSR and uh, sales metrics here, uh, estimated sales. You've got a graph showing the uh, movements or fluctuation of BSR and the price as well. Short tail keywords, long tail keywords and focus keywords. You can copy them, do whatever you want with them. And over here, you've got um, even sub category ranks and some other stuff um, last 30 days BSR average and then you have similar designs here you can either open them on Amazon or open them in search uh, in Merch Dominator so you can see other similar designs all right and and uh, try and analyze them from there we've got same brand as well so what does this do when you open it on Amazon you can see all the designs from that same brand and you can analyze them however you like Obviously, this is copyrighted, but I'm just giving you an example. Um, opening search as well. So you can open it on um, Merge Dominator and analyze from there. This is about it in terms of bestsellers module. This is just one module, guys. And some softwares will only give you one module as a whole software. This is just one module. Give me your feedback on what you've just seen now. Uh, how to find search volume for KDP, KDP book, for example. Uh, when I go to keyword analysis, can you please please remind me? Um, and, I'll, and I'll show you how to do that. It will be in keywords analysis. We have search volume as well. Uh, the download button is in a free account, yes, but it's very limited. And it's also limited... Um, in, in the um, in the uh, paid version because we don't want people to download everybody's everybody's design right we have we have a pattern if we detect that someone is trying to download too many designs we, we will throttle that because we, we don't want them to download them for the sake of uploading them as their own yeah uh, what I see is where I see sales number of products. Uh, Rashid Rashidi, it will be here, right here. This is the estimated sales per month. Uh, with download, could I download one of my own old non-selling designs and then update it and add as new? Yeah, you could do that. If it's your own, then it's your own, yes. Lucian, Adnan... Are the same search results displayed for all members? Yes, um, for all members who have a paid, uh, uh, who have a paid um, subscription. Yes, let's say that hundred members set the same parameters when looking for inspiration for new designs and new niches. Do you think this is uh, this will cause a rapid saturation in those niches? No, because not everybody works the same. Trust me, I've I've been around in in. Um, in, in, in the industry for a while and I know this for a fact and I can give you another uh, another metric which I know for a fact so so far we have uh, I would say about 76,000 users 
that have joined since we started Merch Dominator in the last three three months. And I can find the niche that nobody has got into purely because people are not always on the platform searching. So you think that all those hundred members are searching all the time. They're not. They're probably coming to it maybe once a day at a certain time. That niche might have been added at a certain time when not everybody else has has used it, right? So you could come in and find the niche and start working on it and it might be completely brand new or very untapped, very unsaturated. So the main thing is being on the platform and watching, right? And watching the new designs that come in and stuff like that and do your research. Um, and it also, the way that you enter that niche will be different from somebody else, right? So um, it, it comes down to the way you work as well. Because you, we, you can have the same software as somebody else. Somebody else might find it useless because they don't know how to work with it. They don't have the skills, the abilities to actually find niches um, that are untapped, etc. So it literally depends on how you work with the software. The software is a tool. It's not, it's not a brain. It's not conscious. You have to give it commands and you have to analyze. Yeah? Um, do you think this will cause... Da -da -da? I'm just trying to read. Uh, or will it introduce a sense of urgency to occupy those new designs discovered with Merch Dominator? Do you think this may cause the rapid... Yeah, so I've, I've answered your question, I think. Um, I understand that this aspect also depends on the number of users on the platform and the way they use it. I'm curious what your opinion is. So I think I've, I've answered your question. If I didn't, please give me a, you know feedback on that and I'll try and come back to it. Okay, guys, I'm just trying to go through all your questions so we don't leave any stone unturned. Uh, Zach, thanks for answering some of the questions. Appreciate that, mate. Uh, platform data updates every single day and we have a live research uh, function as well, which I'm going to go through. So you can get literally live data. Yeah. Uh, Majdi, price uh, you can see on the website, my friend. So if you if you want to go if you want to wait a little bit, I'm going to go through the entire um, offer and show you the best uh, discounts and all of that, so you can rest assured that you will get the best price possible now. All right. All right. Cool. So I'm going to move to the next uh, segment, product search. Uh, this feature will be free. We will leave it for, for free to add value, right? Uh, but it's literally better than a lot of the other softwares. So I am going to show you how it works. We type Easter, for example, here in search products. You'll be able to get all of the options or the keyword suggestions coming directly from Amazon, right? And um, we can do it for all the marketplaces and for all the products, including KDP, <coughs> right? Uh, we can sort by featured, price low to high, price high to low, reviews, newest. And uh, another feature is coming called best sellers. So that filter is going to be added after newest, probably tomorrow or after tomorrow. Okay. We're already working on that. Um, zip code. So let's say you're from the US and you, you, or let's say you're from Poland, for example, and you're trying to research in the US. Amazon is going to detect that you're from uh, a, 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 um, a Polish, uh, you have a Polish IP address. What's going to happen is that it's going to say deliver to Poland. Let me give you an example. So we'll click on search. This right here, it will say deliver to Poland, for example, right? What you want to do is you want to click on deliver to, right? Like so. And you want to change the zip code. And we give you the zip code right here. And when you change to the UK, we give you that zip code as well. The reason we do this is so that we can get accurate data from Amazon. If you don't do that, you will not get accurate data and you'll be making mistakes. Um, we can also change the product specific keywords. So let's say you want to research Easter in the clothing, shoes and jewelry category. You'll be able to do that directly from here. I don't know of any software that can do this, guys. And this feature, we're going to provide it for free, right? Um, you can even copy all these keywords if you'd like. 
You can research all these keywords in many places like Amazon, Redbubble, Spreadshirt, Etsy, all these options, Vexels, Canva, Google Trends, Google Images, Google Shopping, bestsellers, real-time research, POD, inspiration. Okay? Um, and another feature as well, which is pretty good, is we have the last 30 days. So you can click on last 30 days like so, click on search, and it will literally toggle that on the last 30 days filter. So you don't have to do it manually. So that saves time. Yeah? Any questions about this? Um, these options that I've just shown you? No. So there's going to be a 50% off after $49 per month. So it will work out 49 Sorry, it will work out $24.50. But I'm going to go through the discounts and all of that. Please just, yeah. Just, just bear with us. Yeah? Uh, guys, any questions about this, um, uh, about, about the, the product search? Feedback, please, so we can move on. Yeah, all right, cool, all set. So useful, amazing, thank you, Gary. Um, okay, Lucian, thank you for your answer, Adnan. I can understand this aspect. I wonder by what what uh, by what criteria does Merch Dominator select the new designs uploaded on the Merch by Amazon platform? Let's say that a design in a certain niche was uploaded a day ago. Do you think it is enough for Merch Dominator to index that new design that has already been sold? and has a BSR. Do you think there will be an extension in the future? Yes, there will be an extension in the future related to Merch Dominator. It will be called a Merch Dominator extension. We're working on it. Um, or rather, we have it planned and we're going to start working on it as soon as we finish some other stuff. And it will show you additional data directly from the Amazon platform. Yes, correct. And what we'll do as well, um, we, uh, we might have um, that extension feed data back into the platform. So yeah, it'll be like a loop and stuff like that so that everything will be completely updated. Yeah? Um, but at the moment, uh, I think, so where Merch Dominator excels is because it goes through all of the data that Amazon can show us. So we know that Amazon can show us 400 pages. We go through all those 100, 400 pages and we scan them and we present them to you, Right? Um, you know, so so you will not be able to go through 400 pages. It's impossible. I I get tired when I get to the 10th page, the 11th, the 15th page. Imagine how much money you're leaving on the table just by um, doing things manually, right? So most dominator will scan everything, present it to you, boom, done. Okay. But yeah, loads of updates, guys. One thing you'll get with us, I mean, look, how do you know that there's going to be lots of updates? In a year and a half, we've managed to achieve certain things that people that have started in 2016, 2017, other softwares, have not achieved yet. So let's just say that. Um, we've got a massive team that is developing the tool, adding new features. We're going to literally update features with the speed of sound, hopefully. So... Yeah, just bear with us and you'll see the work happening. Okay, cool. Uh, guys, I, here's the thing. This, why am I doing this? Because I absolutely, it's my passion. It's, my, my, it's the industry that I am working in. I really want to give the absolute best software possible. And it's a dedication. Like you have to have a certain amount of passion and love for what you do to be able to um, kind of excel in the, the field where you are at. And I think um, this is what I can bring to the community, hopefully. And um, I'm not going to say trust me or anything. I'll just say, hopefully, if you're, if you're around, you'll be able to see everything for yourself and see what happened before and what's happening and you can gauge things for yourself, all right? Right, so next, we have uh, Seller Trends. Um, I think this is a massive, massive feature really, really good at detecting trends. And even uh, current, um, uh, you know, uh, 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 evergreen designs, right? So not necessarily trends, but even uh, evergreen designs. How does that work? So it detects 
a drop in BSR between a certain period and another, right? So when we set it to time period one day, it will detect a drop in BSR from yesterday to today. This one has dropped by 70, uh, 97%. We, when you hover over it, it was 1 million and 300 whatever down to 341k. Um, we know that it probably sold once, so that's why it's showing um, that 341 uh, K is is probably one sell, I would say. This one right here, it was 3 million something. This is also one sell. If you want to know the ones that have made more than one sell, you can just drop the BSR. Because we know that anything below like 300K, this would be probably more than one sell, right? In a day. It has to sell more than that to maintain that particular low BSR. Does that make sense? I'm now talking a little bit advanced because, you know, I'm, yeah. Let me know if, if um, you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So all these designs, so this one right here, it was, there you go. This is what I'm talking about. This one was 249K and then it became 67, sorry, uh, 6,000. Wow, 6,700 in one day. That's ridiculous. That is a massive drop. Massive drop. Peeping it real. Yeah, massive drop. It was 164K and then it became 44K. It probably made like 15 sales to, to drop to that low BSR. Yeah, and this is how you know um, the niches that, that um, are high in demand, that people are buying, right? When they drop from the day before to today, that's how you know there's action in those niches. Then what do you do? You copy, for example, this one right here. I know it's, it is copyright because it's from uh, the brand Peeps. They're playing on that brand, but I'm just going to like put it on product search and show you how it works. Yeah, Peeping it real. Search. And it shows you the long tail keywords there as well, directly from product search. Um, people have even put Chilling With My Peeps, but this is from the Peeps brand. Yeah, so... Um, this is theirs. There's 428 results. Check the BSR. This is the number one, 955. All right? Selling, selling, selling. That's how you know something is working really well. You detect it first on Merch Dominator, right? You detect it and then you go and search for it if you want on Merch by Amazon, right? You can even do the same thing from Merch Dominator, but depends on, you know, how you like to work. And this process works for all the marketplaces and for all the uh, the products that Merch Dominator supports, including KDP. And you can also do lots of other sorting. So you can sort the by trend type winners and also by the uh, newest, if you want to check the winners, but also the, new, the newest. So the designs that have dropped massively in BSR from yesterday to today, but also the show me the newest ones. So we can do that, for example. I just want to see the newest ones. We wait for it a little bit because it's doing calculations uh, in the back end. All live. Right. So this one right here is the newest. April 2nd is when it was uploaded and it sold. This one right here, March 31st, right? Five days ago, four days ago. It dropped by 62%. It was 460K. Now it's 171K. Does that make sense? And then it has the same aspect of, you know, how to, uh, of, of um, a grid view and also list view. Let me know, guys. What do you think so far? Uh, guys, anything related to payments and stuff like that, ask me towards the end, please. Um, now, let's just focus on the presentation. MD Fed, happy with the tool. Thank you. Uh, Muntasir, in bestsellers and seller trends, is there only US and German marketplace for KDP? Yes, we're going to add other marketplaces later on. Um, 
but at the moment there's only the US and and uh, Germany for KDP only. But for the other uh, merch by Amazon uh, marketplaces, we have all the marketplaces. Can you please tell me if you plan to include front? Yeah, yeah, we're planning to include them, brother. Yes. Okay, so far so good. All right, cool, brilliant. Right next. What do we have? Next, we have brands. Um, what does this allow you to do? It allows you to see the brands that are selling the best on the whole Merch by Amazon platform. Peeping It Real is the best seller right now. It has a BSR of 955. And this is live, guys. Like when we go here, we'll be able to see that it's it's got a BSR of 955. So some results will be live. Some results will um, will have updated uh, earlier and the BSR will have changed. But overall, you'll get updated data, guys, all the time. Guaranteed better than any other software because I've tested all of them. Um, yeah, so we go down, we go down, check all the um, uh, brands. This one right here, do not enter it because it's Taylor Swift. So just a heads up. Keep going down. Be able to see all the brands based on their BSR and stuff like that. If you want to basically get, um, I don't know, um, get inspired by what they're doing and, you know, investigate them further and see how you can um, use some of the elements that they're using for your own designs. I'm not talking about copy-paste. I'm talking about get the elements of why they're selling, yeah? Um, this is self-explanatory. You can also open in Amazon or see all. So open this brand in Merch Dominator, for example, yeah? Okay, that makes sense. Now next, Merch Archive. This option right here will enable you to see the designs that were uploaded, sorry, that were selling well at a certain date. So for example, let's check the 1st of March in the US, uh, products, t-shirts, click on search, it will show us the designs that were selling the, from the best to worst for, um, in a particular date. So this one right here had a BSR of 1,141 on the 1st of March. Yeah, and You can see the price at that time and you can see the estimate, estimated sales at that time as well. Yeah, You can check info, open it on Amazon, etc, etc. This is all self-explanatory as well. Live research. And this is an option that, by the way, let me let me go back and see if there are any questions. Britain in Bashaw, I learned a key step I was missing in researching, especially when you need to be strategic with only having 10 designs to upload. Absolutely, Brittany. You need to be very strategic with what you upload and you need to constantly... Um, um, kind of um, recycle those designs or, or rotate designs to see which one will catch, to see which one will actually sell. And um, uh, I'm going to, I'm planning to actually be doing a lot of practice with members and stuff like that through webinars, through live training, that kind of thing, um, so we can all help each other. Um, guys, any questions about this step? If not, then I'll move to the next one. Okay, doesn't seem like there's any question. Cool. Right, next, we have live research. This option is amazing because it allows you to put any keyword you want and you'll be able to see the designs live, guys, with all the options, with all the, you know, the updated BSR and all of that. So let's say we'll put, put for example, peeping it real, yeah? Pin it real, yeah? Is it like that? P pin, I'll just copy it. Like that. P pin it real. Um, marketplace US, product, sorting, featured, etc. Click on search. Uh, uh, I need to be upgraded to. Yeah, so sorry guys. Um, let me see if they if they can upgrade me real quick. What am I using? Uh, well, I'll come back to that. 
by the way, the uh, um, members will will not have any limit. So you can ha you can use it however you like. Uh, dev team, if you're hearing, can you please upgrade me to to be able to use live research anytime without any limit? Sorry, bear with me a sec, guys. Okay. All right. Cool, I'll come back to this. Uh, but the way it works is um, you'll be able to see all the designs live with all the options, etc., etc. This way you can do your analysis directly from Merge Dominator without having to go outside of Merge Dominator and using other extensions and stuff like that. Um, and it sorts everything for you. And also it only shows you the ones that have sold, right? It doesn't show you any designs that have not sold. And that's an added bonus. So you don't need to like look at, you know, various different um, designs and, and figure out which one sold and which one didn't. Apologies for that. Didn't see that one coming. Um, right, so next. We have deleted designs. Now, what is the function of this uh, feature? It is the fact that you're able to see the designs that have been taken down by Amazon, right? So that you don't do them, not to get inspired by them, so that you do not do them. And you'll find that a lot of them are from Taylor Swift. So if you go down, let me just put here, for example, uh, going on, not a lot going on. Search, there you go. Look how many were deleted, right, from um, from most by Amazon. And I'm sure that there are lots that have been deleted. These are the ones that have just, that have sold actually and deleted. So this is how you know you should not touch this niche. Do not touch it because it's getting deleted a lot. So we detect the ones that were live on Amazon and and sold and also taken down. Yeah, so just bear that in mind. Any question about this um, This right here? And we can, you can sort by date, by newest, by however you like. And by default, it gets sorted by newest. Any question about this bit? Okay. Right, so... Next, we have POD Inspiration. You can research uh, Etsy, Pinterest, and Spreadshirt in the US marketplace. And uh, you can put your uh, uh, you know, keyword right here. For example, put Easter shirts. Search it on Etsy. Should work. It was working just now. Hold on. Did I get limited? Hold on, let me see. Um, this one should be working. Let me try Spreadshirt. So Spreadshirt is working right now. It shows um, basically any, you know, all the designs that that um, that are available under that keyword, and you can keep going down, keep going down. Literally doesn't end, right? Um, you can get loads and loads of inspiration just from this. Let's see. Sorry guys, just uh, chatting with the dev team. Uh, let's see. I'll come back to this, guys. We're going to see what's going on with that. Okay. I'll come back to this. Please remind me. Uh, so next we have events. 
um, we've got two options, upcoming events and calendar, right? It's a, oh, maybe I got logged out. That's why. Um, yes. So we've got upcoming events. You can see the events that are uh, coming in the next uh, few months and you'll be able to check the designs um, attributed to those events like so, right? Like that. If some events uh, do not exist in our database, for example, Coachella Festival, you can click here to fetch it in real time, yeah? And then keep going down. If you get stopped, then you just have to wait a little bit because we've got a lazy loading function and it will give you uh, the next batch. Just wait for it. Keep dropping it down. Wait a little bit until it gives you the next one. Should do it. It's just analyzing all the results and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, one second. Uh, I know what's, what's happening. <laughs> Basically, because they log into my profile to see where the issue is, I get logged out. So, guys, please bear with me. So, guys, please bear with me. This is something that shouldn't happen, but obviously it's live and it, and it happens, so. They're just trying to check the uh, the issue from my user and um, and I get logged out. So we'll come back to that. There you go. See, it's worked now because I'm logged in, right? So you just have to be persistent, like drop it down and then it will let you um, find the next um, options. Yeah. All right. So calendar um, is similar. But yeah, let me go back to upcoming. I just want to show you the fact that you can actually uh, open any event in Amazon and um, see all. You'll be able to see in in. Um, uh, Guys, can we can we literally just bear with us for two minutes while they work on my login and then and then we'll we'll resume. Yeah. In the meantime, you can ask me questions and I'll answer them for you. Right. So here we've got uh, open in Amazon, so we can open in Amazon and we can open also in uh, Merch Dominator uh, bestsellers, and you'll be able to check um, th those keywords inside of our tool. Guys, really sorry. This stuff happens. Yeah. So. We'll use the um, the time efficiently. Uh, right. Any questions so far about anything while they fix um, the issue of Etsy and uh, what if we live in France? It's not the same as if we were in the UK in terms of shipping. Um, what do you mean by that in terms of shipping? There's no shipping involved in in uh, Merch by Amazon. Um, you just earn royalties. Um, can you please clarify your question, Anas? Thank you. Guys, any questions? We'll use this time to um, uh, ask uh, ask any question. Not rela related to payment or anything. Um, yes, you can pay with Paysera card, but please wait because I'm going to share with you a fantastic uh, discount code in a bit. Uh, but ask me anything about what we've discussed so far. Yeah. The difference between seller trends and best sellers, by the way, the BSR drops. Yes. So the seller trends will show you the designs that have had their BSR drop from the day before to today. If you've got the... Um, if you're using the uh, period of one day, if you're using period of one week, then it's from a week ago to now, yeah? It will take that average of drop. But I always like to use one day because I want to see what has dropped from yesterday to today so I can get the latest trends. Uh, 
uh, Mehdi, um, in terms of merch by Amazon accounts, um, ask us in an email or uh, Master IDP on, on Instagram. We're not talking about anything outside of merch dominator here now. And as for POD, not MBA, I saw earlier in uh, mode the list that all the sellers does not ship to the EU except the UK. Yes, so um, again, that that's different. You need to check which um, supplier is that that you're working with, which platform, which POD platform you're working with. This is completely different for Merch by Amazon. How many rejected designs before Amazon terminates your accounts? There's absolutely no set um, limit. There's no set minimum or maximum. Uh, you can get one rejected design. They wouldn't even reject it and they will completely ban you from Amazon if you're using something that is really severe. So for example, like if you've done something about Disney or Gucci or um, you know Taylor Swift, not a lot going on at the moment. I know people have had their designs um rejected rejected and then immediately their accounts got um, got banned so it depends on the severity of that that rejection if you've done something you know simple like you've used the the youth size that you shouldn't have when you shouldn't have then um, then they won't ban you for that um if you got two rejections uh, that were not severe, then then you're fine. Just try not to overdo it. Yes, Tufik, there's there's a there's a coupon to add. Um, I'm gonna go through that in a bit, and I'll show you how to do everything so you guys can get the best discounts possible. Yeah. Just check in with Dev. Should we avoid class uh, 25 trademarks words at all costs? Yes. If they have t-shirts in them, that's why you need to go to goods and services, right? If they don't have t-shirts in them, you can use them. It's fine. Can we do POD, COD, merge all at once or is it a bad idea? Yes, it is a bad idea. Too much at once will divert your attention from, you will not be focused. So you need to focus on one thing. Um, next question if we have one and they should be live and registered yes okay all right next before you go you guys get bored sorry about that um, I'm gonna come back to the um, to the Etsy bit because I really want to show you that right let's go through trademarks Please remind me. Oh, yeah, I can't. I can't log in because they're working on it. That's why I keep remembering what. Like I keep forgetting why I can, um, why I cannot go back to the platform because they're working on it. Um, in the meantime, let's use the the time um, constructively, guys. And again, really sorry about that. Stuff happens. We've done major, major updates today, guys. So it must have broken something because we literally switched over all of the users from a certain database into another and we were down for about half a day. So from like 6 a.m. to like literally just put it up just before 2 p.m. So we had to um, import so many things and and uh, put put a new update, etc., etc. So something must have happened there. But it was working before. Um, right. Um, last question, brother. And thank you so much. No worries. What do you think about COD? I'm, I'm not going to answer this question, bro. Sorry. You can you can send me a message on Instagram and I'll answer that. But this is not something about COD or, you know, we're, we're talking about Merch Dominator here. You can ask me anything about um, Merch Dominator, anything about what we've discussed so far. Um, while we move to the next step, just wait, waiting for them to um, give me an update.
Okay, two more minutes, hopefully. Two more minutes. Um, please bear with us, guys. <laughs> um, right, so we have a question from Lucian. Do you think Merch uh, by Amazon is a saturated platform? Or can it be in the future? What is your long-term vision for this platform? Do you think it will be here in the next five years, 10 years? Yes, absolutely. This is why we built a SaaS product for it because we can see the massive uh, potential. As Amazon.com or as Amazon in general grows, most by Amazon will grow with it hand in hand. It started, I don't know how... Um, how how long you've been in the platform but in 2015 when they first started it they only started with t-shirts in one marketplace in the US right they've added so many products and they've added other marketplaces as well there will be other products being added there will be other marketplaces added as well and that will create more opportunity for you to move into those marketplaces as the first mover that will give you the first mover advantage and you will absolutely crush it you know how much money I've made when they first opened Pop Sockets into other marketplaces, when they first came out with Pop Sockets, when they first came out with phone cases, we absolutely killed it. That is the real opportunity, man. And if you can be the first mover into those new marketplaces, new ge geographies, new products, you will rank higher, you will get reviews, and you will sell every single day. And that is the potential that we're talking about. Users are moving more and more into the online uh, world, right? Um, you know, e-commerce is getting bigger and bigger and bigger by the day. So therefore, as Amazon or Amazon in general is the biggest e-commerce platform in the world, it's going to keep growing and growing, right? You're in the best place. Yeah, forget about Redbubble, forget about you know Spreadshirt, all those places. Merch by Amazon is the place to be. It's where the traffic is. It's where the it's a beast, man. It's it's where people make the real money. Um especially if you know how to work, man, and if you have if you have great tools. Um the US is is a beast, man. I like to work in the US marketplace because it absolutely crushes it. Um so what changes do you expect to appear in the uh, coming years so yeah new geographies new products uh ease of use maybe they'll they'll add um, you know a few other features um I, I, you have to be prepared for the changes to come obviously but we don't know what those changes will be um i would say just try and you know build your portfolio of designs and once you become comfortable with Merch by Amazon, then move to other marketplaces so you can diversify. Go to Etsy, go to, you know, you can even create your own Shopify store, build the brand, you know. Try and scale that business. Don't don't rely on one revenue stream. Um, for better, uh, I'm curious how you see through your eyes as an entrepreneur this extraordinary opportunity with which we are co uh, contemporaries kind of spoiled that we can have access to such a platform and we can make a living or even a business out of it i wouldn't say even a business out of it i would say make a massive business out of it i mean when i show you guys i make uh, you know 20k a month 30k 50k 100k 107k a month and i did a video about it right that is not a living, that is not a business, that is a massive business, right? So if you have the, the patience and the consistency that is required, the effort, the time, the care, the, 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 the live, ride or die, you know, attitude, then you will absolutely crush it. If not in Merch by Amazon, then you'll be in, other, in another field. But that's what's required, a lot of effort. No, I think I think it's a it's a it's a great. You don't need to be sorry off topic. I mean, you know, it's it's a great question, man. Um, can we have one more feature where all Amazon rejected keywords can be seen? Yes, we do have uh, that feature in 
I'm going to show you in a bit. It will be in um, listing creator. I'll show that to you. And then we're going to add a functionality where you can even add your own keywords. So that is coming. AI coming as well. Uh, could you possibly add a feature for listing creating to save it? Yes, that's something that we already have planned. It will be coming with AI as well. Did you cover the cost? I'm having connection issues. Christina, we're going to cover the cost very, very soon. Um, just checking if it's ready. Do you think it would be smart to sell under one brand name? No, not smart at all. Sorry, brother. Nothing against you, of course, but I'm just giving you my opinion. Um, if you sell under one brand name, what's going to happen? The copycats will go to that brand name, copy, uh, click on it, and then they will be able to see all your designs and copy them. Never ever sell under one brand. And also, when you use um, one brand, you, you lose a lot of real estate of keywords that you could use. Yeah. So the idea is you need to use that brand field, brand name field as a place where you can add more keywords so you, you have a better chance of being seen. Uh, is Wix a good alternative to Shopify? No, Shopify is the king always. So Fik, uh, and then actually I'm in tier 10 and every two days I do some promotional designs in, the, in social media like Twitter and Pinterest. Can you please give me some advice? So um, use Twitter, uh, work on trendy topics um i covered uh, a whole video about twitter and how to work with it so make sure you check it out but work on trendy topics and post your designs in comments um what is the best way to be a good designer through practice my friend and through opening your eyes watching what is selling on amazon and identifying why that design has sold try and be analytical and, and practice. That is the best way to become a better designer. Is Merch Dominator good for Redbubble? Yes, it would give you uh, trends from uh, Merch by Amazon and you can apply them to Redbubble. However, Redbubble uh, has a different audience from Merch by Amazon. So some designs might sell on Redbubble as well, but some designs might not. Uh, but we are going to bring a Redbubble trends feature. So watch out for that. It is coming. Uh, we have it planned. So you'll be able to see all Redbubble trends, literally, yeah, everything. What is the most effective way to get keywords? Uh, you can get keywords through keyword analysis, through, um, through product search. You can get them from the listing of those designs. You can get them from, um, you know, the more info place and, uh, and in, in, um, in bestsellers, for example, or seller trends. Click on more info underneath. The whole design you'll be able to see uh, short tail keywords, long tail keywords and focus keywords. The list is endless, man. Lynn O'Connor, regarding Shopify being better than Wix, is it also better than WooCommerce? Yeah, absolutely. Wo Shopify is literally the king um, of, of these kind of um, platforms, yeah. Okay, let me check the live. I'm going to check the live um, uh, the, the live research in a bit. It's been, it's, it's, um, we, they've changed the limits for me, so that can be done. And POD inspiration, a couple of minutes, they're just checking and we're going to move over to it. Okay, how to best, how do I best secure not, not to use trademarks or words in my, designs so martin um what you need to do is you need to uh, check those designs or those um uh that listing that you're creating for trademarks and i'm going to show you how to do that uh, it's literally coming when when we go to the trademark section which is li literally the next segment after we go through the live research and etsy um uh, in terms of copyright let me show you how to do that so let's say Easy. Uh, you guys can see my screen, yeah? I think you can. So let's say uh, you want to um, check Peeps, for example. You're not sure if Peeps is actually uh, a, 
a, a trademark or a copyright or whatever. Put it on Google. There you go. Peeps, candy. It's a candy brand, food. Um, you know, it was it was um, founded in 1953. You can easily see that it is copyright. It belongs to a brand. Uh, there's articles about it. Stay away from it. That's the easiest way for uh, for you to find out about copyright. So, for example, not a lot going on. It's a massive design that is trading uh, trending right now. Click on it. And then you'll be able to see that it's from Taylor Swift. Can you see Taylor Swift wearing it, right? And it's also um, attached to her Instagram, as you can see from there. And I think it's a lyric. It's it's a, it's from her song lyrics. Not a lot going on at the moment, Twitter. So stay away. Once you see these kind of indications, stay away from this kind of stuff. Does that make sense? Um, is, it, is it allowed to use word like tea, etc. in my listing? Yes, it is allowed. You can use tea, you can use shirt, you can use t-shirt, but they don't recommend it if you're using multiple products because all the products, they share the same listing, they share the same keywords, etc. Title, brand, bullet points, description. So if someone uh, tries to buy a tank top, let's say you upload it to all the products and you uploaded the tank top as well and they're trying to buy a tank top. If they see this is an awesome t-shirt, you know, they, they'll be confused. Am I buying a t-shirt or a tank top? This is why they, they don't recommend you to use uh, references to products in your listing if you're using multiple uh, products in your listing. But if you're using a t-shirt only, I don't see any harm in doing it. They don't give you rejections for, th for that, by the way. Uh, Lucian, I have been on the platform since 2016. I had no idea then what I was doing and where I was or in what direction this would take me. I would like to ask you, at the beginning, I used to fill the two lines with keywords. I have noticed in recent years that it is better to put the best keywords in the title. Yeah, absolutely. If possible, and leave the description as simple and clean as possible. Do you think this is the best way to post a new design today? Looking at this aspect also through the prism of the ads we have had access for, we had we have access to for access to for some time, where the design must be targeted as precisely as possible to a specific niche. Thank you very much. Yes, absolutely. You're right, Lucian. Everything that you've said is completely uh, correct. If you try and be very uh, if you put if you put too much junk in your listing especially if you're doing ads you will be losing man you will lose so much money you want to be as tar targeted as possible if you're doing ads especially if you're doing uh, auto ads because they will take uh, the keywords from your listing to to target uh, those keywords and if you if if your design is about St Patrick's Day and you say this is awesome for Christmas then your toast man you'll lose uh, your budget for nothing so that's ads wise. But um, if you're not doing ads, I don't think it harms to do some related keywords that might be seen as related to that particular niche. So you can experiment. But if you're doing ads, keep it super precise. That's what I would say. So when we're doing ads um, for a particular listing, we're always super precise with, um, with, our, with our keywords. We have to. Any more questions? No, we're talking about um, Amazon ads. Uh, Amazon advertising, Gary. Uh, with Google ads, you can specify whatever keywords you want. They don't take them from... They don't take uh, uh, keywords from your listing. You specify which keywords you want. Um... Lucian, golden advice, guys, and you're the best. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Anytime. If 
Uh, and one other thing as well, um, while it's in my mind, uh, for SEO purposes, um, uh, Google will take your your um, your keywords, will take the keywords to to rank you on the search engine from the description, not from the bullet points, and obviously the title. So you have to make sure that whatever you uh, keywords you want to focus on, you put them in the description, and if possible, try and use uh, keywords from Google SEO, from a Google SEO point of view, right? So go to Google Keyword Planner and try and get some decent keywords from there. Put them in your description. You'll absolutely crush it. I don't think people have shared this before, but obviously you guys deserve to know this uh, golden advice. We call them teaching nuggets, little teaching nuggets. Uh, do you mind showing us a little example of how to get a nice trend on Amazon? Uh, I've already done that, brother. Um, um, I don't know how long you've been on the webinar, but you can always go back and watch it again. We've done we've done it at the start when I showed you um, seller trends and bestsellers. Um, tell me, please, the exact price to sell to Amazon and thank you bro I don't know what you what you mean by this question brother um, can you give me some more context so I know how to answer it uh, can you give us a glimpse where is that question it's gone yeah um uh, can you give us a glimpse about the future of Merch Dominator with AI? So one of the things that uh, that we're currently working on and you'll be ready very, very soon is the ability to create a listing with AI. So you just specify the keywords that you want, right? Marketplace and all of that. Click on the create listing and it will create a listing for you. That's literally something that we're currently working on. Um, we have wild plans guys honestly for, with with ai but i'm telling you the things that we're now currently working on i don't want to divulge too much information because other people might you know copy the ideas and and uh, bring them out before us but um um so muad uh, kella he said i do that with chat gpt yes but you know the things that we're going to be doing we're going to make them more specific to we're going to train our own model you know using open ai and we're going to make it more specific to print on demand. So it won't give you some stupid suggestions. It will be more targeted towards print on demand and, and um, something that you're actually looking to achieve, you know? Um, Tofik said, I mean, the low price, what should be at 1390 or 1307? Okay, 1307 is no longer possible. You have to do 1338. Uh, if you're doing not doing ads and if you want to try and get some more visibility, do the low profit or no profit um, um, strategy and um, price your uh, product at the lowest po possible price without getting any royalties. And in t-shirts in the US, it will be thirteen thirty eight. Yeah, that way, when people go to price low to high, they'll be able to see your um, design and buy it. Yeah, and then obviously the more sales you make, then you can up your price and start earning from there, because you'll start um, being ranked in the featured page, whether it be the first page, second, or whatever. Um, I'm talking about the AI listing creator. Uh, are you planning releasing it this year? Yeah, yeah, exactly, my friend. Um, AI Listing Creator is coming very soon, in the next couple of weeks, maybe a month, not even that. Um, we, as as we are speaking, we're working on it. So it is it is um, being developed, not planned. It is it's in progress. You know, we have a developer dedicated to that feature, working on it currently. Uh, we just try and optimize it as much as possible before releasing it but it will be released very soon should we have a shop specified in a niche or style or 
we just follow the trend and make our shop random. Uh, you're not making a shop, you're just uh, posting different designs. So try and do different niches and see what sticks. If something works for you, try and get deeper into it, right? Uh, Yusuf Busitza, he said, sorry, it's time of foot for tour in Algeria and I can't pay with Paysera. You can pay with Paysera card. Oh, the payments at, uh, attempts failed because of invalid payments method. Um, try and get a different payments method, my friend, and um, use code 50 off because we're going to give you 50% off, all right? I'm going to put it in the... Um, because you're going. That's the code right there. I want to share it with you. Um, let me just check. Okay. Uh, guys, um, it's an issue with um, Etsy at the moment. The API is not working. So we've checked that. It's not with the code, but... Um, it's an error returned from Etsy, so we're going to have to move on with that. I think live research is working fine, so I'm going to present that to you. Yeah, okay. Etsy API is not returning... Um, is not returning results. So it will be working later at some point when they when they resolve it. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go to live research. <clears throat> Hopefully I've answered all your questions. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go to live research. And then we'll come back to um, questions if need be again later on towards the end. I'm going to log in. Right, so a lot of research, it was here. So let's say we want Easter. Or we, we, were, we said we wanted to do peep in it real, yeah? Search. So what it will do, it will um, take about 20 to 30 seconds because it will go to Amazon, get the data directly from there and then come back and present it right here. Yeah. So we'll just give it a few seconds. While it does its magic and then we'll be able to see all the results. And then it will, it will show them, you know, bit by bit. It won't give you the entire page. Yeah, just like that. Um, and then, yeah, it is going through all of it. Yeah, and then it will show you the first page, right? So this is the first page. And it will tell you products with BSR. It will give you, it will update them in real time. And it will show you the results on Amazon. How many in the first page? 429, right? And all of these results are live, guys. So, for example, this one right here. 313k in BSR. Let's check it. Let's check the BSR. 313k, as you can see. It's all live. With the reviews, with everything. Yeah? And this is the design that we saw earlier, 955. This design, if they had a high price, honestly, they would have made so much money. I don't know why they're not changing their price. It's, it's a waste. Honestly, it is a waste. Guys, what do you think about this feature of um, live research? Feedback, so I can uh, see what you think. Okay, great. Perfect. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. All good. All right. So next feature we're going to talk about is trademark. Now, guys, when you try and move away from uh, the uh, real-time search um, uh, page, then it will prompt you with whether you want to cancel the the um, uh, you know move from one page to another or to um, 
um, to, to, to leave and actually go to that page so that you don't lose your uh, results, the data that you're working with, right? So in this case, we're going to do leave. Okay. Now, this is, I would say, and I, I want to I wanna like put it to you guys and, and let me know what you think about whether my assessment is correct or not. But I do think that it is literally the best trademark tool in the whole industry. And I'm going to give you a demo and you tell me guys what you think. So there's three ways of doing research. The first way is literally just, it just shows you the trademarks that have been added and that have become registered in a, um, you know, in a, in a certain period of time um, and by a certain TM office and um, class and trademark type and all of that, right? So this is just for inspiration in case you want to check what has been filed over a certain period or what has been registered over a certain period, etc. So let's say we want to check what has been registered from this date to this date. We'll click on search and it will give us all the registra registered trademarks. Um, we can do by clothing only. It will give us that, yeah? So there's a lot of, uh, you know, filtering aspects as you guys can see, USPTO only. We can change the, you know, the, the, the date range if we'd like, like so. Yeah, and we have a very, very large database of trademark and it's always updated, guys. Um, and you can check Word if you want, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can check the filed ones, but you have to change the application date. So you have to delete this. And when you want to do filed, you have to do it by application date. Makes sense, right? Now, next, by keyword, I want to do registered, USPTO, Nice class 25, word, perfect. So we'll do Disney, for example, and we do phrase match. Search. Uh, what has happened? Disney made a mistake. Disney. Right. We got 31 trademarks. F phrase match. So the first ones are exact match and the rest are uh, phrase match. We can change that to exact match if we'd like. Search, we got that, right? We can click on it. We can open it on uh, USPTO. It gives us all the info. We can check goods and services, etc., to see if it's um, trademarks for t shirts or whatever. We can add it to watch list. Um, this is very good if you're looking at a filed trademark and you, you think that it might become trademarked, right? When it becomes live, then you'll be able to see that it is actually live and you cannot use it anymore, right? So it gives you, it prompts you, yeah? So you can check that list of watch list maybe every other day or so, you know, to check what has become live and try and avoid using it, yeah? Um, um, now, that's that. Next is a feature that I, I absolutely adore with um, Merch Dominator. Um, is that you can actually check the trademark by product. You put the product and it will scan that product for trademarks. So for example, we'll get the ASIN of this product right here. We put it here. It's a US product and it's a t-shirt. We check all of this stuff, registered, um, class 25, word, perfect. And you can click on search. Oh no, I need to load Amazon products first. Check this. When you load Amazon products, it literally gives you all the uh, keywords of that product. So here are the keywords, guys. Where do we have the keywords? We have them from the brand, right? Funny Easter peeping it. As you can see, this is the title. Here is the title. This is the brand. And then it got some bullet points there as well. Okay. So now um, we will also do a, um, a check of trademarks. So click on search. There you go. Anything related to these keywords. And up here, it shows you machine that it is a, um, uh, uh, that it is a trademark. But obviously machine as a word is not um something that amazon will actually penalize you for penalize you for okay let's do something 
that is a bit more uh, advanced, right? Something that has more, uh, you know, keywords in it, etc. Let's try and find something else. Let's see how about this one. Yeah, this one right here. Let's get the ace in. So we'll put the ace in here. We'll load Amazon product. As you can see, it got uh, updated, right? And what we'll do is we'll click on search. It shows you all the trademarks associated with that, uh, with those keywords, but it will actually put all the exact match here. Yeah? So if I was to put peeps, if I was to add peeps, for example, let's see what happens. There you go. Can you see it? It got added. And then you click on it and it shows you the uh, exact match and also the phrase match. You can toggle from phrase match to exact match like so. And then you can click on it, check it out, do whatever you want. So essentially, your traditional way of uh, researching for trademarks, uh, it's outdated basically. Because the way you used to do it is you have to like take a keyword, put it in a website like TM Hunt and then keep checking and all of that. But TM Hunt only does uh, class 25. It doesn't do all the other marketplaces, etc., etc. It's very long. But this does everything, right? Let's say we add Disney. Let's say we also add, um, uh, I don't know, Nike. Let's do Gucci, right? All these are market. Uh, all these are trademarks we know that they are trademarks click on search with a simple click of a button you can actually see all the trademarks that i've just added disney gucci right nike etc etc and then you can click on it check all the you know associated trademarks you can click on filed and check the filed ones as well if you want so they've just added the filed ones click on nike there you go. These are filed. Yeah. Uh, the, the capability of the tool in terms of analysis and, and um, you know, filtering capabilities and stuff is literally off the charts. And I'll leave that completely up to you. Obviously, you know other tools. You've, you've checked other tools out. You've used other tools. You tell me what you think because we're here to help each other, right? I want you to help me develop the tool and I want to give you the best tool possible. So it's a two-way um, kind of uh, street and the other thing is let's say this design right here you want to check trademarks for it really quickly yeah you just click on this TM here boom checks it for you right away there you go now you tell me if you've seen this anywhere else let's hear your feedback Gary said, so much faster than what I've been using. Thank you so much. You're welcome, brother. I appreciate that. How can we bypass trademarks? You don't put trademarks, my friend. You don't put trademarks in your, in your listing at all. Martin, nice. Thank you. Tawfiq, that's a great job. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Very good feature. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Okay, great. This is this is a nice feedback to hear, honestly, because it's it we've spent so much time developing all this stuff, guys. Um, everything is perfect, but as we are new seller, not making much money. So twenty five dollars very every month is costly for us. I didn't expect this much charges. Thank you, bro. Well, bro, I, I don't know what else to say. Um, just use the free feature and, um, and use manual process and use your time, right? Um, and when you start making money, then you can, you can, um, um, you know, you can get a subscription. Um, but yeah, ultimately in terms of value for money, you make your, your choice right there. Right, so let me show you the other, the other, option which is trademark watch list right 
So you can add your, your trademarks here if you want them to be, um, you know, monitored um, so that when they become trademarked, then then uh, the software will tell you that they are trademarks and it's not safe to use. For example, I just put hi. This is, this is registered already, so it's not safe to use. Let's say we add, uh, I don't know, uh, Chris, I don't know, I don't know, Christian or something like that, right? In the USPTO, add. Let's see. It is safe to use. Uh, there's one filed, three ended, no issue. Oh, um, I'm not seeing the screen. Sorry, you're not seeing the screen. Okay. So I'll, I'll start again, right? So I'm in watch list, right? Let's say we add the keyword Christian, for example. Uh, USPTO, add. When you add it, it will actually tell you whether it is safe to use or not. So Christian is safe to use at the moment because it's only filed, it's not registered, and there's three ended results, so no issue there. Uh, Nike, it will tell you that it's not safe to use because some of them are registered, filed, etc. Anything that is registered is not safe to use. Anything that is not registered, it is safe to use, right? So you can put all the keywords that you're not sure about that that you found that they are filed but they're not filed yet and you want to use them so you can put them here if they become not safe then we will alert you here because we scan this on a daily basis all right and um, this is a place where you can actually do um, um, you know do, do a lot of filtering and, and stuff like that so we can do by USPTO we can do by DE like that this is only in DE so you can do a lot of filtering and you can filter by keywords as well. So if I was to do hi, I'll only be able to see hi, right? This way, if you have like tens of trademarks, yeah, then you can filter through them quickly, okay? Any questions um, about these trademark features and what do you think? Anna said, it's a must. $25 is nothing compared to the added value and the time saved. I'd rather cancel Netflix for it. Well, there you go. Someone spoke. Thank you, brother. <laughs> I literally don't, don't want to say anything because, you know, people want to spend their money in the way they want to spend it. I'm, I'm not going to be here trying to say, you know, cancel your, your, your other things to, to buy my tool. Um, I'll show you the value and you decide whether it's, it's the right thing for you or not. So here, if I put a keyword that is safe to use but becomes registered in the future, will that impact my design account? Yes. So if that uh, trademark owner goes to Amazon and says, I need all these designs that I use in my trademark to be uh, you know, taken down, then that's what they will do. Lucian said, great discount, already love it. Uh, you're welcome, brother. Appreciate that. Uh, Brittany Bashel said, also do not forget, you do not even have to use Canva. You can use Merch Dominator to create your design as well. Yes, I'm going to go through that now. Uh, MD Fad Iqbal, your tool is absolutely perfect. So much, so great. Appreciate that. You're welcome, brother. Thank you, thank you. This is really heartwarming. Um, amazing to hear because it's like my little baby. You know what I mean? I put so much time and effort to try and make it as good as possible, and this is just beginning, guys. We're gonna make it even better. Yeah. All right. Brilliant. So I'll move to the next bit. Sharing my screen. Right, keywords. Um, guys, again, this feature is really, really good. So keyword trends. I don't think there's any other software that does this at the moment. Um, again, you tell me, you be the judge because you've used other softwares. So um, this feature will give you the keywords that are currently being searched for right now. Yeah. So we'll do the dates, say, for example, yesterday. Yeah. Well, you can do one word, two words, three words, four words, five words. Let's do one word, for example. Search. Um, so someone is searching for this. Someone is searching for pet, dog, fish. Yeah? That kind of thing, right? What's amazing is that, let's say fish. You'll be able to click on this search here. And you can search for them in various different places. So Amazon, Redbubble, Spreadshirt, all of that. The list goes on, Yeah? And uh, you can export them uh, to CSV or copy. You can 
go and check them for trademarks and you can also copy them here individually and you can go to this button right here check Amazon product detail and you can actually check them on the first page of Amazon directly from Merch Dominator guys and you can see how many products there are in the first page sponsored products the uh, price the you know the average price of that uh, first page etc and you can um, check the uh, reviews the ratings and all of that right you can check the categories so you can click on it and it will take you directly to the category like that you can check google trends you can um, check organic and sponsored uh, listings and you can open in amazon right when you open in amazon what does it say 30,000 right check this guys 30,000 products all live everything is live yeah we go directly get the, the data and bring it to you live and you can check all the products available in that first page and when we go here we'll be able to see the same product yeah the the uh, ranking of those products will probably differ depending on the cookies used etc but ultimately they will be very very similar yeah you can go to the third page as well like that there you go you get also the total products how many Two th two, 200,000 right let's check opening Amazon 200,000 there guys boom now tell me if you've seen this anywhere in any other software have you guys seen this anywhere there's more there's more there's way more <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm literally, this is why I wanted to take my time because I don't want anything else to compare. Literally, I don't want anything else to compare. I don't want anyone to tell me, no, you know, you guys are the same as this software or whatever. We want to be innovative, bring something that nobody else has. Yeah. And also what they have plus what they don't have so that nobody can compare. And you can do like five word or more, right? Like so. This is what people are searching for, guys. Look, Easter stuff, happy Easter shirt, um, you know, Easter day shirt, women, peeping it real. This is, this is a trend, guys. Look, we can see it just from keyword trends like that, right? Look how many, how many keywords, 3,469. Are you going to be able to look at all of these keywords? No. I mean, it's abundant. Everything is abundant with so much quantity, like you will run out of time before you run out of ideas of how you can use Merch Dominator to absolutely crush it. Um, right next, keywords research. This is a, a feature that we started with. We're going to upgrade it and make it like mind blowing. But ultimately what it does is very similar to a product search. So you type Easter, um, all the marketplaces and all that stuff, similar to product search. Click on search and you'll be able to um, see the, the keyword suggestions and um, check the MBA results. But you don't need to do that because we can do that with keyword analysis and all of that. So like I said, this feature is going to be changed to something that we uh, we cannot do with the, the rest of the other features. You can open it on Amazon and you can open it on Google Trends and copy it. You can copy the entire thing as well. You can change the departments uh, for keyword specific stuff, etc., etc. right? Next, keyword analysis. And I'm so looking forward to this uh, module right here, guys. So uh, let's uh, type Easter, for example. We have two options, live uh, Amazon-related keywords and live Amazon suggestions. Let's start with the first one. Again, we have all the marketplaces, uh, all the product types that Am uh, Merch, by Amaz uh, Merch Dominator supports. And we click on search. Now, what happens here, guys, is um, Merch Dominator will go to directly to Amazon to collect all the related keywords of a particular keyword. Now, those related keywords are what Amazon promotes with a particular keyword. Now, this stuff, guys, is absolutely mind-blowing. Now, it could be argued that if you were to put some of the keywords in your listing, then 
the same user who um, uh, researches the original keyword might um, find you by, um, you know, typing that 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 keyword if you were to put it in your in your listing because they are searching for that keyword and also that keyword so if you don't get them from one keyword you get them from with the other right because those keywords are interlinked um and then you'll be able to um to rank quickly and hopefully get a better visibility right um one thing i would say with the the live amazon related keywords is you should not use very long tail keywords i would say stick to something that is really well known like st patrick's day right so use it for the top niches so i'm, I'm going to reiterate it use it for top niches like st patrick's day father's day basketball volleyball easter stuff like that right do not put long tail keywords because amazon will not return related keywords for those types of keywords does that make sense yeah i hope you got that um, but with the second option, you can do long tail keywords, no issue, right? And then when you click on search, two things can happen. If someone has used, has searched for this keyword in the last 24 hours, then it will be shown quickly, just like now. But if no one has searched for it in the last 24 hours, what will happen is we'll go directly to Amazon, search um, for all the related keywords in Amazon, and then bring you back the data. That uh, aspects or that process will take between 20 to 30 seconds because we have to go through so many pages live and bring them back to you guys i'm telling you no one is doing this right now everybody is using keyword databases we do not use a keyword database we get everything live from amazon i don't know anyone that does this right now we are the first in the industry you can compare and check you copy you can copy all the keywords here you can show more if you'd like and get all the keywords that repeat with their frequency, all of that. You can copy them and maybe check, you know, put them in your listing. Um, so as we come down here, we got 129 related keywords, right? They're all related to uh, Easter. So you can check the ones that you want if you, that you want to use in your um, uh, in your listing. As you guys can see, loads and loads of of options right here. So peeps, there you go, Easter. They gave us peeps, right? Plastic basket, pumpkin, right? There are some keywords that are useless, but there are some keywords that you'll definitely benefit from. Again, you have to choose the ones that are closely matched with that particular keyword that you're searching for. Um, right, next, we have search volume. So you can click on load search volume like that, and it will give you Amazon search volume, CPC, trend and competition, right? For all these keywords, right? How about that? You can, you know, sort if you like, you can do whatever you want. With trends, you can uh, click on this button right here and it will show you the search volume for every single month. Uh, it shows you the 12 month history and um, the volume obviously and the average three months, last three months, last six months, and last 12 months. And you can do the same thing as well with every single one of them. So you can click on search, open that particular keyword in any of these um, you know, uh, options right here. You can copy that particular keyword. You can copy all the keywords if you'd like, export to CSV, copy, do whatever, search for trademark. And um, uh, you can, again, open them in the first page and the, um, the third page, just like I showed you earlier. So like Easter, for example, I'm going to open it in the first page. How many results did we get? 30,000 results, right? So we've got 30,000 results. We've got all the categories, etc. cetera. Um, we can just hard refresh. We can get the uh, the uh, interest over the last five years as well. So as you guys can see, Google Trends over here. But this will only show for keywords that, that have enough data in Google, right? So very long tail keywords, they will not show um, Google Trends for them. And obviously all the t-shirts here on Amazon. And you can go open on Amazon right here. As you can see, 30,000 results. What do we have here? 30,000 results, right? We go to the third page, 
right here. How many results? Let's see how many. It's calculating it, 70,000 results, right? Opening Amazon, well, we've got 80,000 results. That depends on the cookies as well. So um, depending on, but yeah, overall, it will give you the exact, uh, the exact thing. Guys, what do you think about these features? What do you guys think about this uh, keyword analysis feature? These are not API tools, my friend. There's, there's no API that will do this. Uh, Mahmoud, this is not with API. This is, this is us directly going into Amazon. There, there is currently no API that does this. Yeah. Cool. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Um, cool. All right. So I'm going to go to the next bits and then we'll discuss the offer. I really want to give you guys as much time as possible. I want to give you guys as much um, information as possible. Right. So next we have listing optimizer. So uh, we can, um, le le let's start with keyword processor first. So you can get any of these keywords, right? Let's get some of these let's, let's get let's get this for example right or let's go to product search and type easter for example we export these keywords copy them and then put them here in original text and then we do add comma with space uh, maybe remove duplicates and remove single letters like that so we ended up with just unique keywords right so we copy this and then we open it in Listing Optimizer. Oh, you guys are not seeing. Sorry about that. So what I've done is I went to the, the um, uh, keywords processor and I put the uh, original keywords. I got them. Let me show you where I got them from. I got them from here, copied them, paste them here, and then I added commas with space, remove duplicates, remove single letters, and then I got this output right here, right? So I'm going to copy this bit here, put it in listing optimizer, and copy this bit here as well, put it here. There are different ways of working, but I'm just going to show you like the quickest way. Apply, and then as you guys can see, single keywords and long tail keywords. Now from here, you can just make your own listing, right? You can copy this bit, Paste it here. There you go. Copy, paste. And as you paste something, it gets deleted from the, uh, the, 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 the phrases or from the keywords section. So that you can see what keywords you've used. And then once you've created all your listing, yeah, you can then come down here and scan it for trademarks. Guys, I'm telling you, you don't need to use any other keyword tool. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and paste all of these keywords here because I don't have time to create a listing right? So let's imagine that we have our listing created already, yeah? And I'm going to add some keywords on top that uh, will be flagged by, by Amazon and also that are trademarked, like gift, for example, Disney. This is just so I can show you how the trademark option works, yeah? Disney, you should not be using these keywords, of course. Gift, Disney, Gucci, Nike, right? All of that stuff. Uh, let's do Neon as well. Let's do, let's do, um, you know, glow, something like that. These are keywords that are not allowed to be used by Amazon, right? Gold kind of stuff. Um, we'll check USPTO, registered, class 25, word, and we'll do check trademark. Now watch this. Instantly, it literally scans your entire listing right? Your entire listing. And it shows you the trademarks. Disney, there you go. Jesus, Peeps, Gucci, right? Lego, Nike, all of this stuff you should not be using. And again, with different marketplaces, different classes and trademark type. Again, there's no one in the industry that has a tool like this. And also it gives you banned keywords like gift, neon, gold, glow. You should not be using this one. Later on, we're going to give you the ability to add your own keywords that you want to ban if you want to, if you want, if you want them to be highlighted um, when you do a scan. 
give me your opinion guys your feedback on this that will be awesome Yes, seen. Yes, thank you, bro. I'll I'll check my um yeah, appreciate that. Yes, Mahmoud, we're we're planning to add AI into the tool. We're actually working on it currently as we are as as um yeah, we we're, we're working on it, right. We we're, we're not planning it, but we're actually working on it. Thank you guys, thank you. Um yeah, Gary said best tool. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Brilliant tool. Thank you, Tadas. Appreciate that, man. Cool. All right. So we'll move to the next bit. Hopefully, we're, we're nearly done, guys. So we've got trends. So you can check Google Trends directly. And by the way, again, you will get promote, prompted again. Let me switch this. Yeah, so you'll get prompted again to leave the page um, if you're working in the Google processor, right? Google Trends. So not Google processor, keyword processor, Google Trends. So we have United States, uh, all the marketplaces, right? You can check what was trending, let's say, on the 1st of April. There we go. That's what's trending on the 1st of April. You want the 31st, that's what was trending. But be careful of copyright, yeah? Copyright stuff, you don't want to do it. Tools, Forget we've got designer. Photopea designer directly inside of Merch Dominator. Create your own artboard. Let's do 4,500. And again, we'll be doing a lot of training, guys, to hopefully support you to be as successful as possible. Yeah, you can create your own design. It does background removal. It does everything. You, don't, you can um, import your own fonts. You can literally do whatever you want, right? It is... Uh, the next best to shop um, Photoshop, Photopia. People know it, right? It's, it's pretty well known, and it's inside of Merch Dominator. You don't need to go out and and um, you know waste time by clicking away and and uh, doing other stuff outside. And then we have favorites. I have the favorites section. Um, so the way it works, pretty easy. Let's go to, for example, bestsellers. We go to this one, add it to favorites, go over here, we'll refresh, then we click on this one right here, then go to remove from, uh, sorry, we go to um, create a new group, for example, peeping like that, for example, this is, let's say this is a niche, Easter niche or something, right? So each group will be a niche, click on submit, and then and then we'll um, uh, select this um, option right here and then move to group. But we have to make sure that we are selecting Peepin, the group that we want to move to, right? And then move to group like that. So it went to Peepin. This is pretty self-explanatory. You can remove from group if you want, right? And you can also uh, choose this group right here, choose to edit it or delete it. Let's delete it. Done. It's deleted now. And obviously, when you have lots of favorites, lots of groups, lots of marketplaces, you can filter through them here by keyword, by group. So you can have all the groups here by marketplace and also by product. Later on, we're going to add the ability to add filters and save your own filters, etc. We'll do that for research as well. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do the ability to download your fav uh, favorite um, designs to CSV and yeah, all of that. So a lot is coming, guys. Very quickly, let me check if the API of Etsy is working uh, again. Let's do Easter shirt. Yeah, so it's it's still down from um, from Etsy. Yeah, um, I checked. We checked the code. All all is good. But um, yeah, hopefully later on it will it will be back. Sometimes it happens, API is like that. Right, um, guys, feedback on what you've just seen so far? Yeah, so Gary Waller, by having Photopea as the design tool, you literally wouldn't need to be uh, to use uh, Illustrator unless you need like 
some stuff that requires Illustrator. And even if you're a Photoshop user, sometimes you might need Illustrator if you want to do some, you know, uh, working with paths and stuff like that. But anything can be done with Photo Photopea, right? Anything can be done with Photoshop. Anything can be done with Photopea. Anything can be done with with uh, Illustrator. So you just have to pick your favorite. But I would say that you can do pretty much any any design work with Photopea. You just have to know what you're doing, right? Um, so far, any questions about the... Um, I'll tell you what. I am going to run through the offer and everything. And then uh, in the end, you guys can ask me questions. Sounds good? Cool. So next, um, why do you need to use Merge Dominator? It's pretty self-explanatory, you know, saves time, money, increases productivity and efficiency, massive ROI. You'll be able to basically get your money back in no time. You'll see how much it costs. It's very, very cheap um, compared to the value and how much other softwares cost. Um, we probably are going to make a loss. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, but initially, we want to offer it for as cheap as possible so that we can get some early adopters. I mean, we're not short of early adopters. We have nearly 80k users at the moment. Um, not all of them are going to join, of course. But, um, you know, um, I, th I think we're, we're, we're attracting a lot of users. We are by far the most used um, um, merch by Amazon print on demand platform for research right now. As we speak, um, it's you can check it on similar web. Compare with your other softwares that you use, and you'll see how much traffic we're getting. So people are, are attracting. Uh, we're attracting a lot of people. Um, so make passive income in um, promoting Merch Dominator. How does that work? So any users who get a subscription will have the ability to refer friends and um, get an affiliate link, and they'll be able to make money through Merch Dominator. So you'll get paid when somebody. Uh, becomes a member through your link and it will be a a, um, a recurring commission so either way you'll make your money back right whether through merch by amazon um you know sales or redbubble sales or whatever or through affiliate marketing it's a win-win situation for all of us so we'll pay you money for bringing in users to us and we will also benefit because you will bring us the traffic so it's a win-win situation all right. So, Merch Dominator launch offer. What do you guys get? You'll get a lifetime discount. So, anyone who um, becomes a member will get a lifetime discount forever. Um, and that discount is 50%. I'll talk you through it in a bit. Early bird offer only. Um, so, it will not be uh, available later on. People that join now will get the best price, the lowest price possible because... Um, you guys are early adopters and it is available for a limited time only as you guys know so once we get to a certain amount of users we're going to say hey look we're going to have to increase the price or lower the discounts whatever whatever right that's that so what is the launch offer and I'm going to show you in um, in Merch Dominator how you can register and, and where you get the discounts code and all of that so you get 50% off on both monthly and yearly premium plans right the uh, the yearly plan will also get two months off plus 50% off on the yearly premium, right? So currently, we priced premium uh, the premium monthly plan at $49, but you'll get it for $24.50. Like that, that's how cheap it is. I'm sure that a lot of people are going to be like, what? This cheap for all of this? Plus the training, plus the affiliate program, plus the support, plus the con continuous updates, plus... Plus, 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 right? It is mind-blowing. But um, I really want to make it as affordable for most people so that nobody says, oh, no, it's expensive or whatever. But, you know, we'll have to look at the data and decide from there. The yearly plan is 490. So when you do uh, 49 times 10, that's 490. So that's already got two months off. So you will get two months off and on top of that, 50% off. So it becomes 245 for a year. Now, guys... When you compare with other softwares, you will see that you're probably paying more, but you're getting less. That's just my opinion. Obviously, each to their own. You guys decide 
um, for yourself. And this is where you subscribe. You just you just go to mustdominator.com forward slash pricing. And I'm going to send you guys a uh, call to action link. So you guys um, can check it out there directly to you. There you go. I think you just got it now, right? Okay. Uh, let me know if you got it, guys. If not, uh, I'll send it again. I think you got it. Um, now, some of the, what is possible? This, these are the kind of figures that we're making every day, uh, and I'll share all these figures, guys, on on uh, on our YouTube channel, uh, on Mr. Addy YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to show you how to register. Okay, um, what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into a different um, user that is not uh, that is not um, subscribed. I'm going to share my screen. So, this user is not subscribed. Yeah, uh, we have two ways of subscribing. You can you can click on subscribe now. So this is when you're inside of Merch Dominator. You can click on subscribe now, and you have. Uh, the ability to check the monthly price, sorry, the monthly plan or the annual plan. Uh, again, depending on, you know, how much you want to invest and how much discounts you want to get, the annual plan is is better because it gives you two months free and 50% discounts on top of the two months free. And it is uh, for lifetime. That discount will keep it for lifetime as long as your subscription is live, right? So we click on the annual plan, click on select, and here is what you want to do. You want to use this coupon code, 50 off, yeah? You get 50% discount. Click on apply. So it becomes 245 instead of um, 490, right? And if you're in the UK, it will be like me, it will be 20% uh, plus, uh, sorry, plus 20% VAT. But if you're anywhere else, there's no sales tax. There's no VAT, right? So if you're in the US, it'll be just 245 but I'm obliged to pay VAT because I'm resident of the UK. Does that make sense? We can remove coupon if we want. And then you just, yeah, follow the steps and, and pay. Pretty easy. Our payments processor is Stripe. Everybody knows it. So the, the most reputable payment uh, processor. So um, it is secure. Um, we have SSL. So no one is able to see your, um, you know, card number or anything. This is all via Stripe. Obviously, we will not be able to see anyone's details. It's all secure. SSL, everything is fine. Um, what else? This is from inside of your uh, dashboard or fr from the platform, right? Now, you can go to profile as well. You can go to billing and plans, right? It will say that, oops, it seems like you don't have any active subscription. You can click on subscribe as well. So this is another option, okay? And then this is where you can see all the plan features and limited access and stuff like that. Uh, all the premium users will have no limited access. Everything is unlimited, yeah? And free users will have pretty much, yeah, all the pretty much all the features are limited except the designer and the uh, product search. But everything else is limited. Uh, now, what else? From outside, you're welcome, Jonathan, brother. Appreciate that. Right. So from the outside, let me just log out so you can see how you can go in. So from outside, guys, um, you will be able to see uh, this subscribe now. Uh, right. So you click on it and it will take you to the pricing page. So you have the monthly price and you have the annual price. So the same as what you've seen inside of uh, Merch Dominator. You select either monthly or uh, yearly and you can copy this coupon code right here, paste it here, click on apply and it will reflect um, on, on the premium price here. As you toggle, it reflects back, yeah, like that. And then you click on register. It will take you through the payments and all of that kind of stuff, right? Select your location, then the billing payments details, and then you become a member. You'll get an email that asks you to confirm your details. And um, once you confirm your 
not your details, sorry, your, um, your, to confirm your email. Then once you confirm your email, you're in. This is if you're a brand new user. Yeah? So I think it's all self-explanatory. So guys, any questions, I am here to um, answer them for you. <clears throat> Gosh, literally for about, how long? For about, I've been speaking for about four and a half hours nonstop. So I did the first webinar from two to four. And then you guys, I gave you, I gave you two and a half hours and we're still going to go through the Q&A. Gosh, <sighs> I need to take a breather. But yeah, this gives me a chance to read your questions and answer them. Uh, guys, yes, any questions? By the way, guys, Zach is one of our moderators in um, uh, Merch Dominator uh, server. I will take care of you there. And um, uh, Yasin is also here, one of our moderators. Right, so we have, um, yeah, uh, Svajunas, lovely mate. Appreciate you, you, your and your team's effort putting this to us. Thank you, brother. Appreciate Putting all of this G to G. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Anas, first, I want to thank you on behalf of everyone here for your time and explanation. I have one last question. I know that best market for POD is obviously the US, but have you already tried custom POD in Morocco? If yes, I would love to hear your feedback. I want to know, please, if uh, most dominator is collecting data from Etsy too or only Amazon. Thanks a lot and have a great day. So, um, no, I haven't tried any custom POD platform in Morocco. Um, does uh, Merch Dominator collect from Etsy? No, we don't collect data from Etsy. We use their own API. Um, that, yeah, that's it. We don't collect data from Etsy. We use their API to display the results. And we're going to introduce um, far more detailed analytics for Etsy and far more um, you know, options to, um, to drill deeper in Etsy. But at the moment, you're able to see the views. You're, you're able to see, like, for example, a design that, uh, might have like 3,000, 4,000 views. You click on it and immediately you'll be able to see that it's a bestseller. Um, I showed that in the um, uh, Arabic group earlier when it was working. Uh, but now um, Etsy's API is down, so I wasn't able to show it. Um, uh, but you can check it on my previous tutorials um, on Merch Dominator. You'll see in the platform as well. Um, there is a, a section for uh, POD inspiration only in Merch Dominator, so you can see how it works there. Yeah? Zuhay said, if I get a monthly subscription for, let's say, three months, then I decide to get an annual subscription, the discounts will be available. Yes, it will be available automatically, or I have to add the coupon code every time I want to renew money. No, you don't have to. It will be available automatically. The discount is lifetime as well, guys. If you decide to stay with us, then you'll... Um, obviously continue having the discount privileges but if you leave and come back then you won't be able to so that's how it works um, Mohammed, uh, thanks for the good job you're welcome brother appreciate that Tufik, I didn't add the coupon bro besides that I subscribe my question here is every month I pay 49 or less so because you didn't add your coupon code um we will have to refund you the difference. Um, so send us an email to support at merchdominator.com and we will add the coupon. We'll find a way. I'll, I'll speak to my dev team to um, sort that out. Um, I'm sure that a lot of people will have bought without the coupon and obviously they, they can't pay more than other people who paid with the coupon. So we'll have to issue a, a partial refund, half a refund, um, and um, apply the coupon somehow. So just send us an email, please at MerchDominator.com. Thanks, Adam, for the effort. Subscribe uh, for the yearly plan. You're welcome, brother. Appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Have signed up for the premium now. Martin, welcome, brother. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, Anas, where can I find the coupon? Here is the coupon. 50 off. It is also here in the pricing page for people that didn't see it. Right here. There it is. So you go to mercedominator.com forward slash pricing, um, put um, your uh, coupon right here, click on apply, and it will apply it like, like this, as you can see. You can apply it on the yearly 
or on the monthly. On the yearly, you get two months on top of the coupon. So you, you make a better, you get a better discount, right? And then you click on register and go from there. Just make sure you always add the coupon before you subscribe so that that coupon stays, stays active. I've used coupon code and paid for the monthly plan just to confirm I'm a member for forever. Same price now. Yes. So Rishika, what, what will happen is if we, if we decide to increase the price, we will let you know. So you'll get the ability to, um, you know, cancel or stay, but you'll always have that coupon code active. You'll always get 50% of any price that we have in the future. But I don't see us increasing the price in the foresee foreseeable future unless it becomes very difficult to operate with the margins that we have. Um, but um, we'll just have to see. At the moment, we're starting at a very, very low price. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you guys can appreciate like the value proposition here versus how much you're paying. Like it's, it's peanuts compared to how much you're getting. When you factor in the training, the, you know, the, the support, like having an expert in the in the in in the uh, industry actually mentor or men, mentor mentoring you like that um yeah it's it's not being provided anywhere else and i'm sure they'll appreciate that plus all the future updates and stuff like that we will support you guys uh tell us just subscribe thanks take care you're welcome brother you're welcome hopefully we'll see you in the discord group guys join this discord group we're going to be there, you know, hopefully, um, you know, enriching the community, hopefully supporting you guys. And you can ask and people will answer you there. Um, guys, take this um, opportunity to ask any questions while I'm here. So I'll be here for the next 10 minutes or so. I'll send you again the uh, sign up link to your directly to, to 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 your screen let's see okay and i'll also send you in a bit the link to our discord um, server so you can check it out yasin said uh Or Mahmoud said, as a beginner, I need Merch by Amazon accounts with high discount to go ahead. Uh, send us a, uh, an email, brother, and we'll send you the pricing for all of that. We're not discussing accounts here in this uh, in this call. Yasin, let's all take a moment to appreciate the fact that we have such a wonderfully diverse community with members from all over the world, including India, France, the UK, Thailand, US, and beyond. Absolutely, man. Like, this is a global community, man. Um, you know, people from all over the world, different types of people all wanting to achieve the same goal. And this is what's amazing about this. And let's help grow it, guys. Um, we're going to be, I have a massive vision for this, guys. I want to make events. I want to, um, you know, travel all over the world, bringing people together, doing, you know, seminars and stuff like that for most, most, dominator um community and that kind of thing let me know what your thoughts are on 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 this guys let me know what you think on this i think it will be a massive game changer and invite you all um invite content creators invite affiliates etc etc uh Jarofi said hi is there a way to include information from comments of a single product with merch dominator for example someone complains about in comment that the logo design is too small uh no it's you you can find that from uh from it's not a big metric for us to find trends right um yeah it, I, I don't think it's something that we will you know that will be very useful let's just say it's something that you can find useful if you're doing an analysis on the amazon platform but I just don't think it will be valuable or a good use of resource inside of Merch Dominator. But, you know, you might disagree with me. And, and if, you, if you guys can convince me that this is the right way to go, add a future request, future request and let's see if people are go going to vote on it. And we'll go from there. We want to listen to the community, of course. Um, uh, 
Uh, I have, this is from Rishika, I have used coupon code and paid for the monthly plan. Just to confirm, I am a member forever, same price, $24.95 now. Yes, correct. $24.95, that's your price for now. If we decide to increase the price later on, like I said, you will still have 50% off, right? So if we increase it by $5 or whatever, you will still have 50% off. Um, and we will inform you before we do anything, all right? Uh, but you'll always have the, the literally the cheapest price um, compared to everyone else because once we finish this launch deal, we will not do this. I don't think we will we will do um, you know an offer like this again because um, we have to look at the numbers. We have lots and lots of outgoings, massive team, uh, massive servers, massive everything. So we'll have to look at everything. Uh, I would love to see an event for members here in Casablanca someday. Yes, it will happen, my friend. Um, they will definitely do an event in Morocco. Um, United States is something, uh, you know, we're thinking of doing. Um, probably Germany, UK, absolutely. We have a good UK community here as well. So, yeah. Guys, any questions? Anything? I'm here for the next few minutes. Let me send you a link for the uh, Discord server, by the way, guys. So you can join. Um, there you go. I think you, you got it now. Any more questions, guys, while I'm here? Any questions? I want to give everybody the chance to um, ask all their questions, all your all your questions, and make sure that you are fully aware of everything and that you know we haven't missed anything. My brother Adnan, I sent you the email. Yeah, that's fine, Tofik. No problem, brother. You guys can ask your questions while I'm here. Anas, we pretty much said everything. So thanks and take care, brother. All right, I'll give you I'll give it another minute if no question, then that means everything is answered, everything is clear. Yasin, thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. We'll see you all in the Discord. Yeah, right. Okay. So I think it's all done. Guys, thank you so much for um, this wonderful time that you spent with me here today in this webinar. We've done a marathon, two, two and a half hours or two hours and 40 minutes of talking, presenting and um, all of that. It's been amazing. Um, thanks for everybody who joined uh, the Merch Dominator team and family. Um, if you're subscribed, amazing. If you're not subscribed, that's also amazing. Hopefully we can give you value in whatever way possible. And um, hopefully we'll see you in, you know, another training, another webinar and um, maybe another event. Thank you so much, guys. And um, yeah, see you later. You take care and goodbye.